Hey everybody, I'm Mike Sattel, and this is the quick version of the top 10 math formulas that you need to memorize for the SAT. So let's get right into it. Number 10, the circle equation, easily worth 10 points. Number nine, we're kind of annoying to memorize. The discriminant is gonna tell us the number of solutions for any quadratic, only really for top scorers. Number eight, Sokotoa is the only geometry formula that we need to memorize. Everything else is given to us in the reference chart. Number seven, we need this for statistics. The average formula, we also need to memorize mean, median, mode, and range. They're definitely gonna come up. Number six and number five are related. We've got the standard form of a quadratic that tells us the y-intercept and the root form that tells us the x intercepts and we need to be able to move between them really easily by factoring and foiling. Numbers four and three are also related. They're about the vertex. The axis of symmetry is my favorite way of getting the vertex, but we also need to be able to read the vertex form of the equation, which is at number three. And then number two is three formulas in one. We've got the open formula that we use for percentages. So we've got regular old percentages at the top. Then in the middle there, we've got percent change. And at the bottom, we have exponential equations, where all, which are also about percentages. So you have to memorize all three. And the most important formula in the SAT is y equals mx plus b. It's going to come up in like 25% of the test. You need to be comfortable with it. You need to know all the vocabulary associated with it. It's definitely going to come up and it's going to be worth a lot of points. So hopefully something on this list got you some extra points on the test. Please make sure you subscribe so you can get even more detail. Obviously, I've got a longer version. Check the description for that. But thank you for watching and good luck on your SAT.